Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emoy, the 28 year old court reporting school vlogger. I love the way that sounds. How are you guys doing? How's everything going? Today is um, Wednesday, so it's a cloudy, no, stormy Wednesday. I just got home from class not too long ago and I decided to finally film the what's in my bag video. Before we do that, I'm just going to light a candle just to give it that cozy feel. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to light my candle. My sister got me this candle and it's from BB. Nope. Love you, Meza. Thank you. Honestly, a sister's worth a thousand friends. So off topic, but moving right along. So I'm going to do a What's in My Bag video and I'm here with Naira. She's here with me. She came and jumped on once she saw me doing the video. <laughs> I'm actually looks like she doesn't want to be bothered, but she literally jumped in when she saw the camera. Okay. Sorry guys, let me get straight to the point. Alrighty, so what's in my bag? So I have a Herschel bag. I hope that's how it's pronounced. Herschel, did it focus? Hmm. It's like super durable and so big and it's, I'm able to pack so many things in it. In the front compartment, I keep my Plaza College ID. I also keep my lip gloss. You guys know how I feel about my lip gloss. I keep my eye drops from when I'm wearing contacts. And vitamin E oil because I like to put this on my lips as well. I also like packing peppermint oil because it helps me focus and I got that tip from talking with Tamaya. She's a law school college, a law school college, no, a law school vlogger. She's freaking amazing. Yeah, so I got that tip from her. Um, I started taking some things out, but I'm just going to um, take the rest of the things out and just and tell you guys what it's about. So this is my tripod. This is what I use to hold up my seno machine. This has to be with me. This has to be in my bag at all times because this is what helps me write so efficiently. So this is like major. So, so major. I actually bought my tripod from one of my old co-workers when I used to work at the DA's office. I bought my tripod and my stone machine from her when I knew that I wanted to go to court reporting school. Also in my bag is lotion. Like, come on. I get dry and I'm not going to go around looking ashy, you know what I'm saying? So you already know lotion is key. And my wallet, because I always, or may always need, well I always need to have my ID on me first and foremost, and money is definitely, definitely necessary, so I have to have my wallet. Um, I have some of my husband's CDs, he's a DJ, so he does CDs and he likes me to, um, you know, give it out. So if you're interested, comment below and I'll mail it to you, if you're interested in an Afro-Caribbean CD, free of charge, you know, why not? Okay, and I have my laptop charger. This is another thing that is super crucial to being a steno student or being a stenographer in general, your charger. So I have my laptop charger as well as my laptop. I use an MSI laptop. My husband thought that this was the best laptop to get for me seeing that I edit videos and we didn't know how much space Case Cat was going to take on the computer so he decided to get me a gamer laptop. I'm not a gamer guys but it's a really cool laptop. My only problem with this laptop is that it's super heavy um, and I'm going to get into that later with the whole you know what I put in my bag and how strenuous it can be on the body. So. I carry this laptop, but I would advise getting a smaller laptop, honestly, for court reporting school because it's just so heavy to get a laptop of this size. Okay. And I have my folder. Here is where I put like my class schedule, some um, handouts for my medical terminology class as well as um, just different handouts that we get, you know, basically just keeping organized. So this is the handout that we got from Steno. Um, so I keep just different things in my folder, you know, just to stay organized. Oh yeah, guys, I got one of my tests back today. This was on chapter 20, 
96 and your girl got a 97 can you see that I don't know why it's not focusing that great but your girl got a 97 I made an annoying silly mistake on the word sacrificial and that's something that you guys should definitely pay a lot of attention to when you're um, transcribing your notes I guess I was just I was I was feeling myself. I was like, yeah, I already know I killed it. Cause you also know when you're doing really well with your strokes. And I was like, yeah, I killed it. So I guess I got way too big headed and I didn't do a what? diligent search. So I a diligent check before I sent my files in. But sent, before I sent my exam in and I had made a silly mistake. So instead of the word sacrificial, it came out as sac official. So obviously I got a point taken off of that because that's not the word that was um, dictated. So yeah, so in my folder I just keep my tests, my hands outs or anything that I don't want going missing. I also carry this in my bag and this is Mr. Red. I use him for my wrist um, just to strengthen my wrist because you know it gets, it gets real with the strokes. So I use this to just strengthen my my wrist to have my wrist strengthened at all times. Um, my husband gave, got this for me from a 2017 mental health and hygiene fair. So I don't like I can't tell you. Oh yeah, link is in the description. No, he just gave me this and it just came in handy. I guess God already knew what was gonna happen with me choosing court reporting. Yeah, and then this is my charger for my wave machine for my steno machine this is my charger so this is something that i also carry in my bag it's also very crucial um my headphones this is super crucial because if i get when i do get to class early or when i stay back and practice i can't just have my computer dictating things to me super loud in the library so i have my headphones so i'm not disturbing others my pen you always need a pen. A pen is super important. For me, at least, because I like to write down notes. Um, there's a lot of things that are gems that are said in class by our professors or by other students. And those are things that I want to, you know, note down. And I just don't want to forget it. So I always carry a pen as well as a highlighter. I have several different highlighters. I should have been a little more organized, guys. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I have a highlighter. I like highlighting terms that I found quite difficult while... Um, practicing so a highlight is always super important to me and I'm filming with my new camera so that's why I'm kind of like looking I don't know like I'm not used to it okay it's filming I'm not that used to it compared to my Panasonic like that's really what I'm comfortable with when filming and this is a Nikon so I'm just I use this when I do photography um yeah so this is also another highlight I like to switch up the colors to d highlight different things um, for their different meanings. So those are my highlighters. My reader. This is super important. So the read a reader is basically an additional book that comes with your stened book that has your stent that has stent notes that were in that were from any of the passage, the literary pass literary passages that we went over. If they couldn't fit in the steno book, they're in this book. They're in your reader. So you can, you know, go over your notes against these notes and see where you messed up and things like that. And you can also find new briefs or different phrases in your reader, which I think is really cool. Um, super important. I think I told you guys about this in one of my videos. Your steno dictionary, this is something that I carry all the time. It's super important. I am aware that Case Cat has its own dictionary but in the case that there is a word that isn't defined in your dictionary you're not going to be able to understand the spelling if you don't carry the actual physical dictionary i just love books i like carrying physical books so that's why i carry this everywhere with me i just think it's super i just think it's a super good addition to your study routine at all times the dictionary This is my medical term book, one of my amazing friends. Hey, so this is, it just stopped recording again. I'm not that used to this camera, sorry guys. This is my medical term book, my amazing from friend Alexa allowed me to borrow it this semester because I'm taking medical term and she took it last semester. So I got to carry this book. 
with me this is not an everyday thing i have medical term mondays sorry tuesdays and thursdays so that's when i carry my medical term book now i feel like i gotta speed it up because i don't know when it's about to quote on me again listen i don't know guys i'm gonna get this done for you though i'm definitely gonna get this done and produce it today because why not oh so this is my steno carrier this is where my steno machine is my steno cord this is always with me super duper important if you don't have this you cannot see what you're writing on case cat it's not going to transcribe because this is the connection from the from your laptop to your steno machine so this cord is super important and this is my baby my steno machine this has to come with me everywhere i go i have a wave like i told you guys i bought this from one of my former co-workers um yeah so this is my wave machine and my cord so this is something that has to go with me every day being i'm a steno student yeah 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 this is something that comes with me every day um and then I carry this with me that says girl boss. It's just a note, it's like a notepad that I like to keep um, some difficult words that I've been having trouble with. So I write the English and the steno on the other side and I practice these every day to strengthen my vocabulary words. So, so words that I misstroke that I wasn't familiar about, I put them in this book and I review this every day. This is the book that I use in class um, or I just use when I'm reviewing and studying i like to write down i'm gonna get the page for you guys where i do i like to write down like what i learned in that what i learned while i was reviewing let's say for example this is lesson 29 i believe so i like to write down things as i'm going through the book and reading it i like to write down what i've learned and what i've taken away and i like to also write down the rules that they're trying to teach me so that's what i carry this book for I'm a Jane Patterson lover. I love him. He's one of my favorite authors. I like to carry, I like, I, I mean, on the train, I have to take the train. I'm a New Yorker for you crying out loud. So on the train, I'm always reading a novel. And this month I'm reading Jane Patterson, new Alex Cross thriller. This is called Cross Justice. It's amazing so far. I just picked it up last week. So this is what I'm reading. This always comes with me. I think reading is so great. I hope I'm not talking too fast, guys. I think reading is so great because it strengthens your vocabulary skills. And as you guys know, steno is all about vocabulary skills. So reading definitely helps with that. Um, I, oh, this is a hole puncher that I got from the dollar store. I carry this with me just to punch holes in my steno theory book because, um... I I no longer, it, you know, it, it broke on a part. I think I showed you guys that in one of my videos. It broke, my book broke apart. So I had to make my own, I had to, you know, make, recreate my own theory book. And this is just a regular med um, spiral book. And what I did is I just put my theory book inside of here. So <laughs> I carry my whole puncher to be able to put the new chapters as we're going on. Um, as we're going on with the lesson. Also... This is my adapter when I'm editing videos to produce videos. I carry my adapter to put the memory card and to look into the computer. Um, oh yeah, this is super important. Power strip is super important because you just never know how many outlets you're gonna be you're gonna be able to use when you get to a specific room. So I like carrying a power strip with me. And post it. I'm always. I got this from the dollar store. I think it's so cute. It has like a little light bulb. I think that's so dope. So I carry my post its with me because it's so important while studying. I think. Um. Yeah, guys. So I think I'm done. Yeah. So this is the book. This is the book bag I do use. The Herschel book bag. It's so durable. It's really cute too. I wonder if I can um put it on. But I don't have my tripod that high, so I don't know if you'll be able to, like, see how it looks on me. Mm, I don't think it's going to work because my tripod is pretty low. But this book bag is so durable. I'm able to put a lot of things into it. And um, it's so solid. It's The only thing is from the What's in My Bag video, you guys see that we carry a whole lot of things. Um, and that's why most people use a rope. So this is what I used to use before. 
this roly is so chic and so cute the only thing though is that being that i take the train it just got so annoying lugging this thing around and picking it up picking it up when i have to go down the steps and up the steps and through the um not terminal and through the train station i just couldn't do this anymore which is why i started using my wave carrier my which is why I started using my wave carrier because it's just so much more comfortable and it's I don't have to worry about lugging something around. This just simply goes on my shoulder like this. Let me move this back. Yeah, so this just simply goes on my shoulder like so. And it's just like so durable and super cute. So I like taking this instead of carrying instead of carrying this but this is also good like if you don't have to take the train and it's not that annoying i think it's a good investment um yeah guys so i think i'm gonna wrap this up now i think i think i showed you guys everything that was in my bag that's everything i use every that's everything i carry with me just about every day just to make sure that i'm always prepared for anything yeah, so I thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You guys are amazing. Don't forget that you're amazing. And we're going to conquer this dental thing for real. Like, we're going to kill it. Also, um, be on the lookout for a video. Be on the lookout for my next video. I don't know if it's going to be my next video. But do be on the lookout for a video where I recreate my dental bag and jazz up my equipment and things like that. So be on the lookout for that, as well as a new video I'm gonna do with one of my um, classmates. Well, she's not my classmate, but she's also one of, she's not a classmate, but she's one of my, um, she goes to my school, she's also in my program. I don't know what you, cause I'm not in, she's in, she's in the 140s. She's a nice student and that's my study buddy. She's amazing, Nina, me and her study together. So we're gonna do a video together where she's gonna be telling you all the pros and cons about being a night student. I'll be telling you guys all the pros and cons about being a morning student and why I actually left night to do morning. So be on the lookout for that. Again, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. You guys are amazing. I appreciate all the love and support. I'm gonna do my best to continue to push out videos on a weekly basis. Bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone that is interested in stenography, anyone that's looking for a new career choice choice or someone that just wants to learn a new skill all right bye guys